Hello, it's Alice Siba from eKid Hub, and we're going to show you how to create and customize a journal using Canva. Now, in this example, we are going to use our idea mini journal template, which includes several pages. It's a full like document you can work from and customize, and it comes with uh, some customizable extra pages uh, and has kind of everything you need to get started. You can also just go create design and then when you search, you can search for a journal or and then you choose journal as the thing. And then when you go into design, you could find journal. Often it's just like a uh, single pages. You can search for the topic you want. Often it's single pages as opposed to a whole kind of document ready to go. So back to our ready to go template. We actually have lots of these in our shop that you can pick up and you can work with because they are actually ready to go documents. I uh, just make some small edits, add your branding, whatever you'd like. Now, we're just gonna look at the, the grid view. So down in the right corner, and then you'll be able to see all the pages are. And this is the best place to work if you wanna like add, add new pages. So you'll see we have like four basically free writing pages. Um, and then there are these templates that you can use that you'll need to customize for the topic or whatever you want. It's just something that you can work with. So looking at the cover, uh, there are lots of elements you could add here or change. Um, if you ever wanna look also at what the page is all about, if you go to position, and then sometimes you'll see yourself on this, uh, this will say arrange, uh, but if you just go to layers on the right side, you'll actually see all the different elements that are here. So there's a background. There is the the image of the light bulb uh, with the yellow light around it. There's also the idea text and then the mini journal text. So you can delete, move, um, uh, add whatever you want here. So obviously we're not going to cover absolutely every customization, but you know in the background you can choose a different color um, and whatever you want. And then let's actually go to this. You'll see this image. Some images on Canva have options to change colors and stuff. This one does not come with that option, but you could search by going in elements and looking for a different image if you want to customize things. You know, maybe a different light bulb in an image or whatever you think would represent your journal well and choose one that actually allows for editing of color. Uh, colors. I don't actually know how you tell that without putting the image in and seeing if it does. So maybe like this would be an example that looks strange, I know, but it would be an, and it's an animated thing you probably don't want to put it in a journal, but you'll see immediately the colors are here so you can actually change them. So this image is a static one. Then we can also uh, change fonts, sizes, you know, whatever, whatever you want and move things around how you'd like. If you'd like to add your, your, um, your logo, you can add it to the uploads. You can just drag and drop into Canva from your computer and you can add your logo. Then we have uh, the pages. These are just the first three are free writing pages. Feel free to swap out the images here. You could add some, you know, uh, your own writing prompts, uh, whatever you would like to do. And this one you would delete before you get started because it just tells you that these are these ones are ready to go. You could publish with these ones already, but these ones probably you'll want to make some editing. The bullet journal would probably be fine, but you want to add a different title. These is a fill in the blank page where you might want to ask questions, move things around. There's a weekly planning page, which could be fine to go as it is, but maybe you want to say, um, you know, for an idea journal, maybe you're going to, you know, Talk, it's a plan, executing your idea page or something like that, schedule or things like that. There's to-do list, a habit tracker, um, a daily challenge. Maybe they're going to implement an idea from start to finish over 30 days, or you can edit it however you'd like. One of the easiest ways, as I mentioned, was the grid view is when you go in here, it's quite easy to work with. So here you can easily delete pages. So this is like that little placeholder page. I will just highlight it and delete it. You can easily move pages, except for I couldn't. <laughs> I'm 
don't move pages around as much as you'd like. You gotta wait till that line appears there. And you could add pages and that would go, you would go into design. It'll bring you back to this view where you can obviously here, because this was created as a spiral notebook, if you search, you can find, uh, let's find a gratitude page or something, you know, then it gives you some, some options. So you'll see they have different designs. They might not quite go with this. So why don't we actually um, add a page and we're just gonna select this one right and then you can add it in you can update the fonts to match the other ones as well so if you want to change like the whole look and feel and the fonts of all the pages at once you can go under when you go under design there's templates which is where we were searching for the pages to add then we can go over to styles and they have like uh combinations which includes like a color palette and font you could just do the font set uh, the colors you want to be careful with you know a lot of them will you know change the background of your pages if you're selling this as a printable you probably want a white background page because your customers probably don't want to to print out excessive inks but you can have a peek through the colors we're just going to go look at some font sets right so we can you can do that and you will see that you'll probably have to readjust some things so that's going to be one of the things you have to do and shake a check but everything else looks pretty good there and uh, when you do that you can also choose to apply to all pages so then it would update all the pages and you can go back. You'd have to move like little elements over to make sure this line is actually overlapping. That's just gonna happen when you uh, change stuff like that. Or you can roll with the font provided. <laughs> it makes it a whole lot easier. But if you, you know, the and, and then you'd probably wanna update this because that doesn't look as great as it did. But you could do it page by page as well, deciding. So, okay, I don't wanna change the font on the, the, the title so you could just apply that font style each time right and not do them all well I hope you found this helpful as an introduction to customizing journals and we do have a blog post that includes you know 20 different types 28 different types of popular journals you could create and sell we also have tons of templates for all those and we'll have more great journaling tips for you soon